Hey everybody, I'm Ozzy, and today we're going to talk about my top 5 crypto gaming picks for 2024. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm Ozzy, I'm just a regular investor trying to help everybody kill it in this crypto bull run. I hope you enjoy today's video. I actually recorded two other videos, but I haven't had time to edit them, so you guys are getting this one early. Now, that being said, if you like this kind of content, drop a like, a subscribe, a share. It really makes a whole world of difference. And let's dive in. Couple of disclaimers. I hold some of the tokens that I'm talking about. I don't hold all of them. Actually, I don't hold most of them. I haven't had time to add them. Most of them I'm planning to add to my portfolio. Another disclaimer. This top five is actually going to be based off of my portfolio model. So... If you haven't watched my portfolio or how to build your crypto portfolio video, I suggest going watching that. It's linked in the cards above. And if you are new to the crypto space, limit the number of tokens you're getting into. It's really hard to keep track of them all. So those are my few words of caution. Now, to start with my large caps, there's a few pretty obvious large caps to pick from. In my opinion, my choice would be Immutable X. I do hold Immutable X. They're up about 5%, 5.6% in the last seven days, and they have a market cap of 4.7 billion. That is a large market cap, but as an alert layer two, they have the ability to go higher even though they are in the gaming niche they've got quite a bit of volume in the last uh 24 hours about 121 million in trading volume but their full circulating supply is not out yet they do have an unlock coming so that's always a word of caution but their price action has been fairly steady if we look at the over the last month they're up about 50 percent and if you look up over the last year they're up about 200%. That would be my main pick. Alternatively, if you were wanting a large cap, but maybe a little bit further down the scale, my two picks would either be Beam, which is another infrastructure token, and they're at a $2 billion market cap with a full circulating supply. They're up about 13 or 14% this week, and they've got about 60 million in trading volume in the last 24 hours. Their price action is pretty nice. And they were formerly the Merit token. You'll know that a lot of people are talking about them. If you look at the last month, they're up about 115%. So they're up quite a bit. And they're up 714% on the year. So quite a bit bigger gainer, which is why it's not my first pick but is a new token and sometimes you want to bet on the horses that are already winning my last alternative is a token that a lot of people if they were around for the last bull market would know gala games they are about 1.275 billion market cap and they've had they're up about 10 percent this week i also think gala is a pretty interesting option but being a token from the last cycle, I feel like I've potentially got more opportunities with IMX. That being said, you can choose either of the other alternatives as a large cap for your portfolio. Now, moving down to my mid cap. In this case, I was considering anything below a billion dollar valuation as my mid cap. In this case, I ended up choosing Superverse or Super. That is Elio Trades and Alex Becker's token. It's up about 16 and a quarter percent in the last seven days. And it's got a $740 million market cap. Not a lot of its supply isn't out, but the unlocks are quite a ways out. So keep that in mind. It I chose it. It's an infrastructure token. It's got the influencer kind of piece. And there's still quite a bit of room to run on it. 
in the last month, it's up about 139% and it's up 1100% in the last year. So up quite a bit this year, but I think that there's still some room for it to run, maybe join Beam up around the 2 billion market cap. Alternatively, Prime is one that I know a lot of people have been watching and it's got a $423 million market cap, but a really low circulating supply. Good price action. It's da- it's up 10% in the last 24 hours, but down about 2% in the last seven days. It's on a bit of a pullback, maybe a good entry. So definitely something I would watch. And I think the other alternative that I would have at this kind of size market cap is Alluvium. They're a huge game. They have been around for a couple cycles now. They're at a $455 million market cap. Lots of room to grow compared to even just Super. So definitely something to check out. They're up about barely 1% this week. And looking at the month, they're up about 63%. And the year about 69. So they're barely getting started. So interesting option if you want to pick a sleeper. Now, looking at my small caps, I always choose three small caps as part of my portfolio. In this case, I'm my first pick is Cedify. I'm huge on IDO's initial token offerings. They were massively good opportunities in the last bull run. Cedify is the leading one for gaming tokens. They're up 11%, 12% this in the last week, and they got a 260 million market cap. I definitely think that this is one token that I haven't added yet, but I will be adding to my portfolio. I do hold Alluvium, by the way. So if you look at it on the month, it's up about 46%, and on the year, it's up about 271%. So there's still some room, definitely some room there with Cedify. They're at a $260 million market cap. I think they could very easily at least triple that, if not more, in the next bull market. I also know that there's a lot of very interesting tokens launching on their uh, launch pad soon, and holding Cedify fund can get you early access to those pre-sales. So that's number one. Number two for me is Myria. Myria is another ecosystem infrastructure token uh, for the gaming space. They're up about 12% this in the last week, and they've got a $203 million market cap. Pretty interesting. There's still quite a bit of circulating supply that is not out there yet, so keep that in mind. But I do think that they've got a good opportunity to run. Being in the infrastructure space, they can go higher than a singular game. Looking at the month, they're up about 69.5%, and the year, they're only up 46.5%. So compared to some of our other options, feels like a strong pick. Now, looking quite a bit further down the list, and this one is my kind of lowest cap that I've got on the list, it's Shrapnel. If you've been watching the 100X podcast or are in that kind of circle, Shrapnel, huge pick there. It's up 22% in the last 24 hours, 36% in the last week. It's got an $87.5 million market cap. They're doing a whole bunch of play tests and their their circulating supply is pretty low. It's only 8%. But if you look at the last year, they're up about 255%. I really think that this could be a opportune play. Uh, their game looks really good, and it generally it really feels like this could go somewhere. So Shrap is my number three pick. If I were looking at alternatives, Cornucopia, Kopi, they're up about twenty six percent in the last week, seventy million dollar market cap. They started. They came out late in the last bull run. Definitely interesting. Wag Me Games, they're a $53 million market cap. They're up about 25% in the last week. Definitely something that I've heard a lot of people talk about. They're in the 
mobile gaming space and their studio. So I definitely like that as a pick and their circulating supply is much closer to their uh, actual supply compared to most games. And this is my dark horse and it's quite small, but playable games three, three all it's a $22 million market cap and about down 8% in the last 27 uh, days. So down a little bit, but I've heard some pretty great things there. Play on AVAX, so is Shrapnel. So those are my picks. A uh, couple, a few alternatives. And there's a lot of good gaming projects. So that's why I promised you a top five. You've probably got a top 10, top 15 right here to pick from. There are so many good opportunities in this space, so choose what you want. Even another alternative, it's a little bit on the larger market cap size for a small cap, but PYR, Vulcan Forge, they're at a $272 million market cap. I think that they're pretty interesting. They're around from the last bull run. They're up about 34% in the last week, so definitely one to watch for. I keep looking down and seeing other games. Heroes of Mavia, they did a small airdrop. They're up 36% at a $225 million market cap. Mauro Games is up about half a percent. And they're at a $3 million market cap. So some pretty good options there. I'm not showing you my bags, actually. Of the tokens that I've mentioned, I hold maybe three or four of them. I haven't st st stacked up on my gaming bags. This is why this video is actually coming a little bit early. I was hoping to add some of these but i haven't had the chance to yet so i hope you enjoyed my top five crypto gaming picks it's i like the strategy that i take where i, I pick down the ladder if you want to just pick some small caps that's up to you but i always like having a good mix to help balance out my portfolio if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing let me know what crypto gaming tokens i haven't talked about that you think are really bullish for this cycle or maybe idos any games that are launching that i should be paying attention to let me know in the comments below and i'll see you next time